Hey, I don't know how you're going to be celebrating the day of mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. I I guess you call it Thanksgiving. And I'm certain for some of you, it's the only time that you recognize Aboriginal people of this land. The land that is now known as America, United States. I am certain that you are learning that anything and everything that has been put in your history books has been all one-sided. The narratives were shaped by the victor and all of it was untrue. You are now starting to hear our oral truths. The people who have nothing to lie about. And it's not going to be comfortable. And nobody is asking for you to feel guilty. But if you do feel guilty, know that that is an emotion that needs to be present in your life. Because without a bit of guilt, you are more apt to repeat the same behavior. We will be burning our old history books You know, the books that when I was a little kid, I was told my ancestors were savages and beasts and did horrible things to white people. I was probably maybe one of of three sitting in that classroom that were of color and everyone stared at us as though we were those people. Or we know the truth. And we've always known the truth. And we were always a very proud people. Because our mothers, our village, our dads instilled in us pride and dignity and love and respect. And that is something that we continue to do. So when we walk... We are walking with the power of all of our ancient ones under us. Yes, these grounds are soaked with the blood from the evil that you have done. But they have risen and a portal is open and they are standing tall and strong and prouder than ever. And great things are going to happen. And we are watching what is taking place in Palestine just imagining what they did to us just imagining that's just a peek into the past I pray for the Palestinian people for the people of Congo and for anyone who is under any oppression anywhere at any time I pray for you we stand with you This will end. They are here.